Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here, and I have set up both camera systems. So I have my A7 IV with the 16 to 35 F4 power zoom lens set up on the Forerunner setup, and then I have this FX30 with the 10 to 20 F4 power zoom lens set up on my Mantis Pod 2.0. I also have the DJI mic system on the FX30 and the Rode Wireless Go 2 on the A7 IV. So I'm gonna show you that. I don't know if you can see how much of that is in focus or whatever, or like basically because that's full frame, it's showing the entirety of the inside of this Forerunner. Oh, it's 111, make a wish. I mean, I just, feel like I should be using that camera because it's just been sitting since I got this FX30 because I've been playing with that. And there's no reason why I can't use that as well. And since I've got like double of everything, it just seemed like today would be a good day to go out and play with that. Now, it is, as you can see, sunny and 52 degrees out. So it's pretty nice and I'm digging it. I've been sitting inside all day. It is one. 12 now. So again, as you can see, it is a pretty nice day out. And I thought that rather than sitting inside, digging around, I would go outside and I would play. Uh, all right, enough blathering. Let's just go out and see what we can come up with today. Okay, so the one thing about setting this all up like this, I can't see the screen on the a7 IV because it's on that side and it's blocked by the lens and all the other shit in my way. So I basically have to lean over like this to see what's in the frame and just kind of go off of that and assume that if I'm over here that you can see enough of me. Now I could also just do this. I could just loosen it and spin it. But you know, I mean, I, I wanted to see how that worked out. So all right, let's just do that. Let's go ahead and spin it. Okay, so here I am now, pretty much in the center of the, of the, of the frame. There, now I'm in the center of the frame. I, I've been pretty much into the whole actual coffee thing and I haven't been getting the matchas. I've been getting a, a eggnog latte at three ships. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out and I'm just gonna hit up a Starbucks and then we'll get out there and see what we're gonna do today. I, I am very happy with the way this whole setup is now uh, as far as it not moving. And, and, and sliding out and slamming back into the, the freaking center console set up here. And it's also at a perfect height and blah, 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 blah. Hey, welcome to Starbucks, how are you doing today? Peachy. What can I do for you? I would love a grande two pump vanilla brevet latte. All right, I got you anything else? I'm feeling saucy. You know what, I'll have three vanilla bean scones. Three of them? Yes, please. All right, it's gonna be 12.04 for you. Awesome, thanks. Hello. Hi there. It's gonna be 12 off work. We got that for you. And there we go. Have awesome, thank you. I have to say, it's very difficult for me to get over these things. This is the vanilla bean scone, the mini vanilla bean scone from Starbucks. And I have been addicted to these for years. In fact, usually when I go out on the road, I would stop at Starbucks, get that grande two pump vanilla brevet latte brevet meaning it's made with half and half and then i'd get three vanilla bean scones and that's what basically kept me going all day long i haven't had these in a while up until recently and once i had them again it broke the dam and now i i just keep getting them <laughs> yeah i'm gonna be filled with diabetes and high cholesterol because I can't seem to control myself, but yeah. So anyways, this is kind of like my last hurrah because I know that I, like after the holidays, that's kind of what I've given myself as a final treat. Because then after that, I have to go back 110% hardcore into taking care of this cholesterol and diabetes, <laughs> my swollen prostate or whatever the hell, although that hasn't been a problem lately. Here's to our health. Okay, well, there's one pleasant surprise. I always forget that I th I, maybe it's like November through April, they stop making you pay for parking in, in this area. And it's not expensive. I mean, it's not like going to downtown Chicago where it's like $185 to park for an hour, you know, or some crazy shit like that. Here, it's like, I don't know, it's like two bucks an hour. All right, so I've come down here to uh, Rudy Inlet, the end of the pier, because why not? And we're just gonna walk around and see what's up. Is this not that cold out? 
but when you get down here and if you can't see right now the wind is really picking up blowing between the buildings here so it it makes it a hell of a lot worse but i do have gloves i do have a jacket on and of course i've got a hat in my melon so i should be okay i probably should have walked further down so i don't have to walk in the sand as far because walking in the sand is hard now we have all the little birdies who are going to start they're starting to walk away i could run up and make them fly but they're just casually walking away from me because they don't give a shit about me see they just kind of casually move okay so here's the inlet there's some people over there surfing but you can see good bit of waves breaking through all the way down there and there's a guy down there who's uh metal detecting it's not that cold out but it is a steady blowing wind and my hands are already frozen i've had enough of the wind blowing all over my hands so we're gonna make our way back the other thing i dislike about this time of year when it's cold <sighs> having a drippy nose can i just say that this latte and those scones were just perfect so delicious See, now, despite the fact that my hands are freezing cold and my nose is drippy and it was freezing down there in the wind, now I'm just roasting. Like, oh, holy shit. Wah! Okay, there are a number of people walking around here uh, look like husband and wife, and they're all dressed in, like, I don't know, Santa-y, elfy type shit. So there must be something going on at one of these bars. Oh, yeah, the entire bar there is filled with people dressed in Santa shit. <laughs> Okay, that explains it. Drunk people. Good for them. Okay, bean has been gotten, but this bean's for her. Because I already had my bean, and I didn't think that it would, like, like I needed another one. So I got some sparkling mineral water. But you get the idea. Okay, kids, it was uh, an interesting Saturday. I hit my step goal for the day, but as you can see, I'm not hitting it any other day. So I hit it last weekend barely on saturday by far on sunday then nothing the rest of the week and just squeaked by today no bueno gotta stop doing that gotta start hitting those step goals every single day and not eating garbage but like i said it's the holidays so i'm not going to beat myself up over it but i am going to keep mentioning it to myself so that i hold myself accountable for it in the coming future of which i plan to have a lot of so that was it for today i mean i just went out and did a bunch of stuff like i always do i am going to now just finish this up and go down and chill and watch then I'm, I'm not even sure what the movie is this week i forgot to look but doesn't matter so that's pretty much all you get for today if you have any comments questions or suggestions leave them down below as always thanks for joining me be sure to like and subscribe and remember kids forward and up